We live in an ever-changing world with new roads being built every year. Often, new roads are not depicted on maps, even online maps, which are updated much more frequently than the old paper kind. In this video, we will go over how to use Microsoft Paint in Windows 10 to add roads to your location maps. So the first thing we need to do is come up here to Services and select Appraise the Street Maps. And we'll click on Get Map. And here is our initial map that we're going to use. Now, the two roads that we need to add connect from here to here and from this point to this point. So what we're going to need to do is first click on Transfer Map and Proximities. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and take this base map and transfer it into Appraise It. But the main thing it's going to do is it's also going to transfer those proximities. Now we're going to click on Copy to Clipboard. And we're done with the mapping program. So in order to avoid us accidentally transferring this base map back into Appraise It later, we're going to go ahead and close the program. And we're going to come down here to the Cortana search area. And we're just going to simply type in paint. The first thing that it will come up um, might be paint.net, depending on if you have that installed or not. But we're going to be just using base paint here, just the regular paint. So we'll select that. And then we are going to come up here to the paste icon and just select paste, or it's already selected as paste, so you can just click on that button. Now you'll notice that it's already highlighted where the image is, and we don't need this white area, so we're just going to go ahead and since it's already highlighted, click on crop, and that will crop out that extra part that we don't need. Now we need to add the actual roads themselves. So we're going to be doing this with a brush. So I'm going to select brushes. And we're going to use the little pull down. We don't actually, we don't need to change any of the brushes. So we're just going to leave that the same. We're going to use the default one. We do need to change the size. So I'm going to use the little pull down here and I'm going to select the largest size. And we also need to change the color. The color number one is already highlighted, but it's black. We want to change that to white. Now I can come down here and simply draw the roads as I need them. So we'll draw the one that's going to connect down here. And then we're going to draw the one that connects over here to this little corner. All right, that's all we need to do. Now, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to click on select. And what we actually, we could just click on select, but then we would have to manually draw it out to do the highlighting. What we're actually going to do is use the pull down here and select all. And that's going to go ahead and put our border around the entire image. And then we are going to come over here and click on copy. That's going to copy it back to the Windows clipboard so that we can add it into Appraise It easily. So you notice we haven't had to like do any opening and saving or any of that. We're just using the Windows clipboard. So I'm going to come back to Appraise It, go to Contents, come down here to Mapping and Sketch Addenda and select my location map. You'll see there's already the base map in there. We're going to replace that by double clicking on it. We're going to say Delete Map. We're going to double click again. That's going to bring up scan link and we're going to click on paste from clipboard. This is going to paste from the Windows clipboard. Hit OK. We're just going to click on save. We can just use the default um, file name there. And now you'll see the new updated one from the clipboard that has the actual roads is now in our appraisal. If we go back to page one and we scroll down here to page two, you will see that in the grid we also have our proximities.